Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. As you can see, we've got the trailer in front of us here, this awesome 42 foot aluminum Demco trailer with our beautiful 9370 International Harvester truck. But we didn't stop there. There's been some cool things that have happened and we are going to add on to this trailer some new, new additions. It's gonna make it even that much, that much cooler. So let's get started. First off, thanks to Dakota Micro. They've sponsored us an egg cam set. And we decided to put the egg cam in these hoppers. I don't know if you guys have seen some of our other trucks. We've ran cameras on the top of the hopper so that way the operator, whoever's driving the truck, can see how full the hopper is as well as see the combine dumping on the go and whatnot because that's what we do in the fields. So we're going to put a camera, hopefully if it all works out, in the front and the back hopper of this trailer and put the monitor in the cab of the 9370. It should work really good. A good buddy of mine, Russ, which actually works for AgriCover, He's the one that set us up with the connections to work with Demco and reach out to them. And Demco stepped up to the game and gave us a really awesome opportunity to get this aluminum trailer for the 9370. Well, alongside that, AgriCover, which Russ works for, talked to them and they gave us some really neat options for this trailer. A Rolltech hopper and gate uh, conversion kit. So we're gonna put those things on and it's gonna be neat. A push of a button, you can roll open. It's gonna be awesome. I'd like to give a shout out to Demco through the dealer they work with, Freelings, for making this trailer happen for us uh, just in time for harvest so we can all enjoy uh, to see th that uh, iconic truck uh, be working in the field with the trailer that would do justice to that truck. Also, I want to thank Dakota Micro for sending the ag cams. The boys actually are looking at me because I need all the all the help I can get at my age. So that's that's a great surplus. Plus also uh, Rotec, uh, both the gate and the tarp roller from Aga Covers. Uh, appreciate so much the opportunity to experience these. So with that, these four items, we're going to need to get to work. And so boys, Get at it, I gotta get some coffee. One of the neat things about this is instead of having something cut like this, where you have to pull the shaft and everything and then slide it over, they made it into a puzzle. So as you can tell, you can slide it over and put them back together. And then what they can do is you can weld them, bolt them up, and you basically have, well, as you can tell, a round piece. We're adding the sprocket back behind here so that the drive motor can operate the gates as you need to. It's pretty uh, pretty neat, I'll, I'll be honest. I, I'm, I'm impressed with this so far.
We've been going at it all day. Leg arms especially been working hard on this one. But we got the automated gate openers installed. The roll tight gate openers. Front and rear wired in. And then in the front up here, we have the automated tarp roll tech hooked up too. But we still gotta do some more wiring. We're working on the back right now. When we get all said and done, get the switches hooked up, we can test it out and try it. But so far it's looking good. This trailer's gonna be sweet. Looking at it, Dakota Micro sent us a lot of cable and we're gonna need that all because this is a 42 foot trailer and to make this distance to get the cam on the very end, which is my goal, we're gonna need everything we got. So there's gonna be a few cables strung out throughout this thing, but we'll tuck them up tight, get them out of the, out of the danger zone so they're in a safe place where they won't get nicked by rocks and whatnot and get these cameras set up. The only problem is these cameras are magnet cameras and this is aluminum. Don't worry, I'll improvise, I'll make it work. While Leg Arms is finishing up the wiring to the, the tarp opener and gate openers, I'm gonna go ahead and start on the egg cam. Got all unboxed. What I did is I laid the monitor out. This is roughly where it's gonna be on the truck. And for now, we're gonna do two cams. I'm possibly gonna add a third or a fourth to this truck, but at least two in the hoppers is the plan. So I've got the cable spread out. They've got long and a short. I've got the shorts going on the truck end because that way all the connectors will end up right where the trailer connects. So if we have to disconnect the trailer, you can unhook from there. And then the long one, I've got one running all the way back here. They gave quite a few feet of cable here, which is nice. So this will be plenty to run it all the way back to the back of this hopper. So this cam here will go in the back facing towards the hopper inside. So you can see the rear hopper for the operator. So you'll know what's in the back there. And then the other cam will be in the front hopper, opposite, basically the same thing, right up here facing in that way at the front hopper. So I'm sitting in the cab, this beautiful cab of the International 9370. And we want to put that monitor in here for all those cams from uh, Dakota Micro. And the thing is, this monitor is actually the egg cam monitor. It's more intended for like tractors and combines and that kind of stuff. And they actually offer one called the Overview, which is intended for trucks. But we thought because they sent us this one and as it, timing and everything worked out, we really wanted to put it in a truck. And I really don't think this is going to make much of a difference. It's just maybe this one's a little hardier for dirtier conditions, which is great. So I spent all morning trying to figure out where am I gonna mount this camera in this truck because I didn't wanna drill holes anywhere. I didn't wanna cut anything. I wanted to keep the dash and everything as, as original and as untouched as possible because I don't wanna damage this truck. So after talking to leg arms and whatnot, we finally determined the best place to mount it was to build a bracket behind the, the window visor holder up here and mount it to the window frame under here and that way, it's just a bracket that I fabricated, put on there. It's bolted on with the original bolt holes that the truck had. It's not gonna obscure my vision too bad if you take a look. And that way, the monitor is securely fastened here. I'm gonna run the wiring down the center of the window here. It's gonna go into the dash and then run down below. It'll all be covered up. Should be really low profile and easy to see. And <laughs> this is gonna be great. I can't wait to get these cameras going. We're gonna put probably all four on this baby. Ugh, that was a lot of work, but we got them on. Everything is installed. Let's start off with uh, the AgriCover stuff, Rolltech. So thanks to AgriCover, they gave us openers and, uh, well actually openers for gates and your tarp. It's a pretty neat system. And honestly, I was super impressed when we took it all apart to put it on there, all the miscellaneous pieces, to make something that's universal to go on trailers, it went together super well. And it yeah. wasn't designed for this trailer. I, I gotta say, I was very impressed with it. And the quality of the steel, they used a lot of stainless, they used a lot of aluminum. It wasn't just cheap parts. So I, I'm i impressed with that. They also give you a remote so you can wirelessly control your tarp or gates from a distance, either inside the cab or outside the cab. So if you're on top of a bin and you wanna shut the gates when you're filling the bin, you can meter it depending on what you want. Or if you have a cedar and you want to meter how much uh, products going into your cedar, you can push it on and off and close it and so forth. So that's a really neat system. 
but you also have the ability, if you don't want the remote, you can have a switch here and you can manually open and shut it. So the system is really simple and it's really effective. All you have to have is a power cord going from your tractor into the trailer, which they basically have. And it's just right here. But as you can tell, we put that on and we also put the gates here. Real simple system. All you have to have is to make this happen really is just, you have to have a welder to weld a few things, but it's not much at all. Another thing that's pretty sweet is uh, Dakota Micro. They're a company that makes cameras for all kinds of applications, ag, industrial, even trucking. They gave us a set of egg cams and there's four cameras. This originally is a set that was more intended to be using like a tractor, some kind of implement of some kind. But at the time we said, we want cameras on this truck and this is perfect. So we went ahead and installed all four cameras on this truck. And this camera right here, we call the roll coal camera because you'll get able to watch yourself roll coal when you're cruising down the road. We're pretty excited about that one. But we got the monitor up here, made a bracket for it, used a RAM mount. Didn't use the RAM mount that came with the monitor because it turned out we had a RAM mount. They're really nice, you can adjust and move around everything. So it's it's solid up the top there. And then the rest of the cameras, there's one on the trailer pointing towards the truck, which is this one. Then there's one on the truck pointing to the trailer. So when you're back into the fifth wheel plate, you can actually see lining up correctly to the fifth wheel plate. That one's gonna work out really good. And then there's two cameras in the hoppers, one in the front, one in the back. So that way, whoever's in the truck can see what kind of loads they have in the hopper. So as you see right here, that there is one of the hoppers right now. So it's pretty sweet. It's gonna be awesome. We're excited to run this camera setup. Thank you, Dakota Micro for the egg cam. We're excited to run it. You guys are great. So any guys, for all these items, if you're interested in any of these, which so far we've been very impressed with all these, we're gonna get to use them a lot in the next couple of days and weeks. Make sure you click on the link in the description below. There'll be links to those websites that you can go look them up, their products and see their videos and whatnot. So go there, check them out. They're great. They've been great to us and we're really happy to run them. So thanks guys. I like it. I hope you guys do as well. I mean, what do you think? I think it's okay. Oh, okay, it's okay. Yeah. It's not that good. I'm not really impressed. But... Well, I know it's, it's actually, it's basically crap. It doesn't look very good at all. <laughs> yeah, you're right. We love it. No, thanks for watching, guys. This is a wrap for this. Uh, harvest actually starts today. So we got to turn this camera off, turn it right back on and start filming Harvest because we're going to get into the peas. So expect that video coming soon. But I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thank you again for our sponsors. And we're excited to kick off Harvest 19. It's going to be awesome. And this truck is just going to be a blast. Unfortunately, those two over there might be a little sad because they might not get the attention that this one's getting. But you never know. There might be some upgrades for those in the future, too. And one thing I want to point out, too. The reason why we didn't have a how-to video, like how to put everything on, is because we didn't need to. AgriCover, when they, they have a couple videos online that explain and show everything very well. We actually used it quite a bit yeah. when we're putting this on. So Videos are awesome. That's we why we figured like YouTube. We probably better not even do that. We'll just show the quick process. But if you guys buy this and you want to know how to do it, just find their link up above right here. Watch the videos. Watch the videos. And leg arm strips are available. And mugs. Pretty he awesome. bought one. <laughs> okay. All right, guys. God bless. Take care. We'll catch you in the next one.